So let's talk about oxygen saturation. And the way that we determine a patient's oxygen level is by using a pulse ox, also referred to as a pulse oximeter. And all it is is a finger probe that you put on your patient's finger. And Ms. Loretta will show you how to do so in a few moments. And it's going to tell you the patient's oxygen reading. Now, keep in mind if a patient's hands are really cold from poor circulation, or if they're shivering, or if they're a busybody, they're moving a whole bunch, well, you won't get an accurate reading. But for most facilities, when you do vital signs, you're all also going to be using the finger probe. One more thing I want to add is that if a patient has COPD or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, you may not see a nurses freaking out if their oxygen level is around 90 or 92 because some patients live with lower oxygen levels. A normal stat for a patient who doesn't have any respiratory compromise it's usually 95% up to 100%. Anything less than that, just make your nurse be made aware. And if the patient's on oxygen, that is a nurse's function to adjust the oxygen based on the patient's needs and also their diagnosis. So I'm going to step out and Ms. Loretta is going to show you how to use the pulse ox. When using a pulse ox, you simply just place it on the patient's finger, push it, and you wait for the number. The number popping up is 98. Take it off and make sure you record it and report it to your nurse. Now, what about cleanliness? Because we sometimes use these on multiple patients. So what should they do after using it on a patient? After, after using it on a patient, you take a wipe and you clean it off real good. Usually take an alcohol swab, I would say, and do it. But if you don't have that, then you just take a wipe, a towelette, if you have one, and clean it very good. So you can use it for the next patient. Awesome. All right, Miss Loretta, we are done with our vital signs videos. And so as a reminder for everybody, you can follow us on YouTube. Follow Miss Loretta on YouTube. <laughs> I look forward to seeing you. Yes, and if you want to take classes in-house, in-person, we're in Jacksonville, Florida. So we have West Jacksonville at Florida Training Academy. Remember, we started our business together, and we're still doing it together now in 2025 and beyond. And so our website is fltraining.com, and we look forward to seeing you in class yeah. or on the next video. Bye, everybody.